Well, when President Bush mentioned switchgrass during his State of the Union address as a potential fuel source, most Americans probably scratched their heads not exactly knowing what it was. But for one Oklahoma researcher, switchgrass is a switch he hopes the alternative fuel industry will make. Ray Hunky is part of a team that has been researching the viability of switchgrass as a fuel source for close to a decade. And as our Brian Bindley reports, the team is preparing to take their work from the lab into our gas tanks. The race is on to find alternative fuels. For some, the traditional method of producing ethanol has been to utilize seeds from major producing crops. Typically what's happened in terms of ethanol production, say in the upper Midwest, they take the grain, this is corn, and uh, convert that grain, uh, the starch product within that corn, into a sugar, and then that sugar is fermented using yeasts. But Oklahoma cars may be running on switchgrass, a grass that producers already don't use. At the state capitol, Oklahoma State University bioengineer Ray Hunky is showcasing a system known as Grassahol that will utilize the entire plant. In our particular process, we're actually converting the biomass through a high temperature process into gases. Those gases being carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, and hydrogen, and then fermenting the gas instead of the sugar. Allowing for less waste and the ability to utilize a natural resource that is native to Oklahoma. It exists as a natural component of grasslands from the Rocky Mountains east uh, to the coast. OSU agronomist Charles Talaferro says switchgrass is a perennial grass that is native to two-thirds to three-quarters of the U.S. and can produce a lot on very little. Switchgrass uh, can be grown on uh, so-called marginal lands, lands that are not uh, well adapted to uh, crop production. It can grow on those soils and persist and stand over many years. It can grow and produce relatively uh, high uh, biomass yields with minimal inputs. Making it a gold mine for rural Oklahomans who own land they can't produce crops on. If we could produce anywhere from four to six tons of switchgrass per acre, we have a conversion rate of about 60 gallons per dry ton of material. So on the average, uh, we feel for central Oklahoma, we can produce, say, 300 gallons of ethanol per acre of switchgrass production. If you see a round bale in the countryside, consider that round bale a barrel of liquid fuel. That gives you some idea as to what our potential would be for producing ethanol in the state. Allowing for less dependency on foreign oil and more income for rural Oklahoma.